Frail spellcasters? Whack. Close quarters combatants? Whack. Immobile tanks? Whack. Me? I'm tight as fuck. First time playing D&D, I realized I'm too cool for any sort of specialized role. But that was only because I hadn't figured out that there's only one way to play it right. With a sword in one hand and a harp in the other, shouting my greatness from the rooftops, laying bitches and slaying witches. Or is it laying witches and slaying bitches? I can't quite remember. I was too busy giving the tavern owner a reason to stay in business. Welcome to a crap guide to D&D. jack-of-all-trades master of none is still better than someone who only has one gimmick and has to hide for the rest of the fight because they've run out of class features and spell slots. If the sword and shield were an RPG class, it would be the bard, one that's good at doing everything and doing every one. You can cast spells, learn tons of skills, support allies, harm enemies, harm allies, support enemies, woo crowds, boo crowds, and most importantly, lay dragons. It's the most versatile class, and its various archetypes allow you to fill literally any role, so who even needs anything else? Need DPS? College of Swords. Need a tank? College of Valor. Wanna make rogues useless? College of Whispers. Need to get good at the game? College of Sit Down Shut up and listen. Your most important feature, Bardic Inspiration, is like the little girl Wolverine version of the Big Daddy Logan, and is absolutely game-breaking. By being a radiant concentration of pure awesomeness, you can allow anyone else an additional die to roll and add to almost anything. Think that weak-ass wizard won't be able to make the con save against that poison attack? Inspired. Inspired. The fighter needs to land the killing blow on an enemy with a high armor class? Inspired. Inspired. Your wingman just told you about a hot piece of sliz that walked into a high-class tavern and that he needs you to hype him up to be able to talk his way in and maybe nab a few extras on the way out for you? You best bet your ass that homie's gonna be Inspired. In fact, screw your wingman, you can do it yourself. Jack of all trades and expertise means whatever you're bad at, you're suddenly good at. And whatever you're good at, you're suddenly unbelievably amazing at. Nothing can stop you, well, maybe except a pretty face. By playing D&D, you automatically sign an unwritten contract that forces you to write your character to fall under the purest stereotype of whatever class you pick. Everybody knows you have to follow that contract or else Matt Mercer will sneak into your house and throw foam noodles at you from the corner of your living room. <laughs> <laughs> All wizards are smartass eggheads, all rogues are kleptomaniacs, and all bards are lust-compelled sex deviants. It's just the rules, I don't make them. And of course, the main gimmick of the bard is that it's artistically expressive in some way. People usually think this means musician. That's because their brain are like this, while my brain are like this. They can sing, dance, paint, prance, make a pretty dirt drawing with a lance. Plenty of ways to further enhance the battlefield if given the right chance. Now you know how to play bard, you're welcome.